want to dive a little deeper into how mortgage rates are impacting our current real estate market. So let's get into it. The logical chain of events that makes sense that would occur once mortgage rates are increased and when they're increased substantially as they've been relative to what they were is affordability declines for buyers. Purchasing power declines for buyers. That means there's less demand. Demand starts to drop off and then inventory starts to climb because there's less buyers in the market buying these homes. And then you would think prices come down as time goes on here and inventory continues to tick up. But that's not what we're really experiencing. We're still experiencing lower than normal inventory and prices still seem to go up. So what is really at play here? The fact of the matter is the increased mortgage rates have affected affordability. They have reduced the buyer's purchasing power and it has affected demand. One final note on interest rates. I don't think people really appreciate the impact to purchasing power for a buyer on an interest rate change from three and a half to 6%. So let me demonstrate this for you real quick. So if you took the average sale price of 710,000 here in Palm Beach County and you applied an 80% LTV loan to it at three and a half percent, your payment would be $2,551 per month. Now, if you kept everything the same and just applied today's interest rate to the same purchase, you'd pay $3,405 per month. That's a big difference, right? Now, what if you wanted to make the same payment you were paying for $710,000 a year ago today? Well, you'd have to drop that purchase price all the way down to $531,700. That's a 25% reduction in sales price or a 25% reduction in purchasing power for the buyer. So that side has definitely been impacted by the mortgage rates going up without a question. At the same time though, increasing mortgage rates has kept prospective sellers on the sideline and thus reducing the amount of inventory available on the market today. And you might ask, why is that? Well, it's because homeowners over the past few years have had the ability to get extremely low mortgage rates and their house is very affordable right now, the one they currently live in. If they were going to consider moving to a new home, buying a new home or renting a new home, it's going to cost them a lot more. So the people that are really moving or selling their homes right now are the people that really need to do it. They're just not doing it for fun or because they'd like to. They're doing it because they have a need such as they're relocating or they need to upsize their home or downsize their home. So that's what's going on today in the market. And that's why the inventory is still relatively low. And this is an impact that you wouldn't expect mortgage rates to have. Another factor affecting affordability here in the Florida market as a whole and also putting downward pressure on pricing is the insurance premiums. So let me quote the National Association of Insurance Commissioners. The trend of paying up to protect your home is expected to continue in 2023. According to the Insurance Information Institute, premiums in Florida are expected to increase an average of about 40% this year, even though lawmakers in Tallahassee approved sweeping reforms in a special legislative session last month. Insurance rates have gone up dramatically over the past few years, and it is definitely impacting our real estate market. The average premium for homeowners insurance here in Florida increased to $6,000 per year in 2023 as compared to the average for the nation, which was $1,700, according to the Insurance Information Institute. This is a big number. Florida insurance premiums have soared by 42% over the past year and 206% since 2018. These are crazy high numbers. You might make the argument that Florida real estate has appreciated dramatically over the past five years, and that's why insurance rates have gone up as much as they have. But remember, Florida home values are only the 18th priciest in the country. So that doesn't entirely explain why homeowners insurance premiums in Florida are the highest by far in the country. Yes, Florida gets hit with hurricanes, and that absolutely has an impact on insurance premiums, but that isn't our biggest problem. One of the big issues is there's a lot of insurance fraud here in the state of Florida, which has created a relatively unprofitable environment for insurance carriers. In fact, 15 insurance carriers have gone unsolvent in the state of Florida since 2020, and many don't even want to do business here. So until the insurance companies and the state work out a solution on how to prevent some of this fraud and create a more profitable business environment for these insurance companies, 
we're likely going to continue to experience difficulties getting properties insured when we go to close them and also higher insurance premiums.